Hey, Jeepers Awesome 27 back here, and holy poop, I have some stuff to do with this. Oh, I can't, what? I can't. Look at this, guys. We have our no clip of Dead Ops. Let's see. Is that God? That is God. So there you go. It looks like I can just keep giving myself stuff with this. I'm really curious now. Let's see. I've never played around with this before, so welcome to Let's Explore. If you've never, never played Let's Just Explore before with me, it's where I no clip through all the maps and... We get to have high fives and a good time, and what if I hit that again? Does it... Oh, it does. Look at that. Holy cow. So you know how I was using that uh, give money command before in the previous uh, games I was playing? You can actually do that in here. In Dead Ops Arcade, instead of giving you that 100,000, it just continues to spawn all the goodies, which is... It's so different to me. Like, I, I didn't expect that to happen at all. This is... I'm so surprised. This game is so many years old. Oh, my lord. Look at all that stuff. Look at all that stuff. I can't help it. All right, I should really get onto the video. All right, guys? Just stop giving myself stuff. This groovy 3D 8-bit uh, music, right? All right, I'm, I, I gotta stop. So, 8. This is what I was talking about with uh, no clip. So... This puts you in first person inside uh, Dead Ops Arcade, which is so exciting! Look at how awesome Dead Ops Arcade looks. It, playing it in first person is probably one of the cooler things in Zombies, if we could do that more often. Uh, but let's take a look around in our first area. So our first area ends up having our skull, our big gold insta-kill skull, which is interesting enough. When you go in it, nothing crazy happens, but you can already see... How close everything is like every all the maps are way close to each other and, and as you know it would be smart to put everything on the same map so let's go look over here inside the shipwreck here maybe that's you know call out to mob of the or call the dead oh I'm gonna do that a million times aren't I but it's really neat to see how all the different maps kind of were played into dead ops arcade we got to experience a lot of places so if we zoom way up and zoom out on the maps, we're actually going to be able to see a bunch of the maps, I'm pretty sure. So you guys can see how Dead Ops Arcade actually works. So let's get up here, and you guys can see how interesting it is. We have one giant skybox, which is almost remnants of, uh... What is it? Uh, Shangri-La. Thank you. Uh, Shangri-La's loading screen with all the mountains and then the stormy-looking weather. It almost seems like the same similar skybox. But here is all... Every single round in every single map, it looks like. And that's the way it goes. You actually don't go in order like one, two, three, four. It actually jumps around quite a bit to which map you go on. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different settings for Dead Ops Arcade, in which you get to play and verse all kinds of undead. Now, what's kind of interesting about this is that you keep looping. Once you get to the final round, you just loop and you loop and you loop. So. I'm going to go down and explore each of these places, and I might might go to, to the Dead Ops final round with the Cosmic Silverback so we can get a good uh, look at them with the boss round, but we'll see. We'll see if I'm that motivated. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out, but uh, just look at some of the aesthetics and really cool things because everything from the top view has to be really well done for Treyarch because that's all we're seeing in this game, and they're very good about how much they use. So what I mean by that is they always know not to put too much stuff inside the map because then it's going to lag you out, you know? You don't need to put all these textures and all these cool new things in there. If we're not going to see them, there's no point in keeping them in the game. And that's why, like, in first person, the, these maps might look really poor, but in first person, or in first person they look poor, but in the over-the-top view, it looks really, really good. So we're going to come over here to the, uh, almost, what was it, Kowloon, I think was the name of this map in multiplayer. But it's the rooftops, and it's really neat to see it from a different perspective. You have all these signs and stuff. I remember exploring this for the first time a while ago, and I was amazed to see, like, some of the documents from our games around here, you know? And I remember there's tons and tons of signs that just made me scratch my head. Maybe call-outs to Die Rise, you know, on top of all the things we had, all the skyscrapers in the Die Rise map. Who knows what has been drawn from this map to actually bring, or that actually came to life. It's just something to food for thought, because these maps are absolutely the most overlooked maps in all of Zombies, because everyone did not like Dead Ops Arcade. Everyone was very, very, very against Dead Ops Arcade. I really can't adjust the settings. That's so annoying. 
It's really weird that I can't turn the music volume down because it's a lot of shit. Hopefully I don't have to re-record the video. That would be awkward sauce. I'll just have to mute the track. It's not really too much going on. So let's go over to the snow one over here, which is... Oh, Summit? I think it's more like the multiplayer map Summit. But look at all this. Look at how awesome this is that they just put in. They didn't have to put all this in. Yeah, because that's a big representative. And maybe, and maybe even remember this from 5. You have the statue here. You don't get a good look from over the top. You don't really know exactly. But if you remember on the screens in 5 and Kino that you had this statue pop up. Something to note. Something interesting. Maybe they're just referencing Dead Ops. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the map was Summit that this is kind of resembled off of. Who's where dogs? I'm pretty sure I've never gotten past dogs on this. Like 34, 35. Absolutely obnoxious. Nothing too crazy in there. Do, do, do. Let's see. But, man, it just... I, I love it. I love what they did with Dead Ops Arcade maps. Because it's there's so much to each and every one of them. And the textures really make you feel like, oh, man, this is really cool. So let me go to the next one. This is the final. This is the final one, which you're supposed to be like, OMG, CCCP, giant 115 rocks inside. And then you have the Cosmic Silverback running around like crazy. So you might, this might be the Ascension Rocket, where the Ascension Rocket lands, where it comes back down on this, which brought back our Cosmic Silverback. That was a huge theory and still hasn't been disproven. Look who's here! Ah! These guys have appeared in the secret ray gun Easter egg you can get in World at War campaign. They have appeared in Die Rise. I wonder where else they have appeared. I don't recall. But they have definitely been a big factor in the weird alien type ideas where these are little, I think they're dragons, not dogs, but I think they're representations of dragons. I think we read that. It's been a while since I read the lore on those things, but I remember researching them. They were very interesting. I, I think the torches here kind of, or at least the, is that torches or is that more like wrecked gear that's just on fire? I don't know. I think it adds, this is by far the most interesting. You also have your waterfall. I don't know if, you know, you get Shangri-La, some influences from that come into this map. And again, this came before all, every single one of the DLCs in Black Ops 1. So you can see where these ideas might have been expanded into future zombie maps. I think this area is beautiful, to be honest with you. It's really nice. Uh, where are we going now? Oh, okay, so we're gonna go over here. And again, this was another place that looked to be on those TVs. Now, they're also campaign places, so it's a, it, you know, it's a give and take where it actually could be the waterfall in here. And I apologize if the round one is complete is bothering you. I, I can't really turn that off. I'll just keep dying and it'll just keep being the same thing. Oh, hello, what is this? Are these where the turrets spawn from? It looks like it. Excuse me. I didn't know these were on the map that these would spawn out of places. That's really neat. So here's a turrets that these are actually in game. Oh wow, this is actually the same detailed turrets from Ascension, Kino that you actually get to play. The ones that in Dead Ops come down and just start shooting around. Oh, Dead Ops is definitely underrated. Still hate it, but not as much as Transit. I will play Dead Ops over Transit. That's how bad Transit is, how big they messed up. Nothing too crazy in this. Uh, ba ba just giving you guys the looks. Oh, is that the mystery box? Hey, hey, some cutouts of mystery box. Same texture. Same mystery box texture. Just no uh, no top to it. Two, two complete rounds. Smoke W. Oh, cool. They actually put some nice detail into that. They even put flowers in there for us, guys. And on top of the roofs. I wonder if I... I wonder what happens when I no clip. Can I... What? What? <laughs> That definitely put me somewhere else. Oh, I accidentally used a speed thing. My bad. All right. So, yeah, you can't drop down on top of these because for good <laughs> measure, it'll probably just kick you to somewhere else you're supposed to be. Like, I went to, I guess, our next closest map over here. Yeah. So, this one's interesting because this is very different. Where you have all these, like, smelting pots or armor. What do they call them? Blacksmithing areas. It's a very... early like industrialized place it's it's interesting to me like this whole almost excavation lumber yard type feel to it i know there's no lumber in here but you, you get what i'm saying like you know when you pass those giant yards where everybody's working on stuff where you keep all the brick and all that and there's almost like there's damage here too so it's like 
what happened did, with the fallout here? Was this once a thriving plant where uh, bricks were manufactured or were smeltered? Uh, who knows? And it's interesting to see that we've never gotten a map to reflect any of this. So maybe it's just one of the boring or <laughs> places they had to do for filler. Like, ah, oh, well, we need an extra map. They might have just thrown this in here. But I don't see too much here. What's, what are these? What are these about? Okay, those are just windows. Okay. You're going to get a lot of weird textures that shine through. So, I don't know how many we've gone to. We've done that one. Let's go over here. I think this is the riot yard. The prison. Is this the prison? This is the prison. I can't even recognize it because I'm so not used to seeing it. Oh, hey. Hey, there's one of the guards. Or prison riot rounds. The people that run at you. Look at that. The Rakuta-esque feel. And upside down, hammer and sickle. It's kind of weird. Why is it upside down? Maybe it's right side up when, you, when you're when you playing in top view mode. I guess that's third person, right? But from the top. But here we'll get all the underlings, all the surroundings, all the bottom stuff about it. I mean, this would be a really cool map, which kind of was Ascension-ish. But I could really see this as a cool map. Oh, my. Never noticed this dude, did you now? Nah, you maybe you did. But it's interesting to see what they did with a jail. We did get a jail in Alcatraz, so I don't think we want to go back to a jail. But this could have been a really cool map if we didn't have Alcatraz to explore. The Verkuda Russian. I mean, that place was huge, Verkuda. If we ever had a zombie map for Verkuda. Man, that's miserably, miserably depressing if you were stuck on that map. But there's not too much details there. Let's see. We're going to go next. We're going to go over here next. Just about hit them all. One, two, three. I think I'm thinking I'm working, doing a good job working my way around here. Now this one was a very interesting map because of all the Chinatown like signs in here. And I remember I was going crazy trying to like decipher these signs to figure out where they were and like what the posters meant if they were hinting towards any other maps. Uh, I think it's just another call out to Die Rise. I think these the Kowloon and then here is just you can see the seeds for Die Rise being planted in this that might have you know been a huge influence but look at the graffiti look at all the little details that you're not gonna get to see that they put into these maps it's just fascinating to me that treyarch always goes above and beyond when making their maps we complain we hate maps some maps don't play well some aren't fun to play over and over again now, get granted but they they don't bs us they really do put a lot of work into these maps and they remember we launched with three maps three maps on black ops one really good maps compared to the transit trash we got in black ops 2 i just can't understand how treyarch thought transit was a good map i don't i wish i could sit down and listen to their a commentary about why they did the things they did why they thought it would be fun it would be challenging and innovative to do what they did with transit like did they not play it i think that's just the most basic thing is did you not play transit at what point playing that map did you think wow this is a lot of fun like, getting Pack-A-Punch is one of the most obnoxious things you can do. I don't know. I'm not going to rant about transit for too long. I'll save that if I ever get the transit uh, no clip. So, guys, uh, to continue this no clip series, I need some way to try and get into transit or all the Black Ops 2 maps to no clip. I know the Origins dolly camera trick, all right? But I'm trying to get something like this. Way more realistic. Way easier for me to jump around and no clip around. I don't really want to fool around in theater mode and then not being able to go under and above and see everything because that's that's most of the fun here which one is this okay so this is based off another map uh oh, i forget what it's called but i love this map in black ops 1 multiplayer really cool map and it's almost taken verbatim out of the game mode where you have all these little bunkers here soviet bunkers and then you have the building in which you would go up and i remember all the bomb location would be in here if you're playing search and destroy or demolition did they have Demolition in Black Ops 1? Because it went World at War, Modern Warfare 2. I, I think they had Demolition. I don't remember. It's been a while. I really haven't played Call of Duty multiplayer in a long, long time. And it's because of hackers. Hackers ruin most of it. But all these areas all come from this multiplayer map. And it, this is a pretty fun one, to be honest with you, playing on this guy. I don't see any electrical barriers, though. Maybe they spawn later. But this one was a pain in the ass to try and run through. But look at how like all the little spots you can train through to try and get away from the zombies zombies come through there so you can't train through there but you know you have a you have this little little like oh god i'm gonna get screwed go through area 
something to keep in mind if you're ever trying to beat dead ops dead ops shouldn't be a long video here oh well, it's going pretty long uh what else do we got what else about the fabulous dead ops arcade that you guys don't know there's nothing in as you can see just making showing you there's nothing in those hangers anything special i don't want you guys to be like oh no i wanted to say the hangers yeah no you're good you're good there's nothing in the hangers totally fine everyone's cool here is that just more power stuff oh i just went back to the same map okay where are we is there anything else i think i hit all nine because uh, then this will take me back to yep so i'm gonna fly out again underneath isn't there's nothing special but i'm gonna fly all the way out and again guys i'm gonna do a video going back through the past 11 maps i think 11 maps and uh, everything i missed so everything you guys told me i missed tell me in the comments below if there's anything i missed that you want to see again there's a, there's like five or six things i missed on all the maps and you guys check it out yeah so that's one two three four five six seven i did that one did that one oh there are creepy crawlers i didn't do creepy crawlers i did that guy did that guy did that one 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 which one's the biggest it looks like kowloon the kowloon type one seems huge compared to everything else just because it's all the city atmosphere but yeah let's go look at the temple this is the last one the creepy crawl around that one's obnoxious and then i'll just play for the next like 30 minutes to get to the damn ape so we'll get there all right so inside we have more of the shangri-la like temple here really cool oh is this the ending rather oh my huh yeah wait a minute i forgot about this this is actually the ending you know where you sit here and then Cosmic Silverback hits you and it shows your places? Wow, yeah, I forgot about this. There's actually green glowing skulls over here in the end. Really interesting what they did with Dead Ops Arcade. A lot of just... Man, you could have just went anywhere with Dead Ops Arcade if they ever had a storyline. Just so crazy the places they were being taken. Like all the universes and dimensions they were being put through. Really, really cool stuff. And, of course, we have our dragon statue here again. I forget where exactly you... Don't you stand right here? Yeah, and then... And that's the ending of it. Where's the creepy crawly around? Is there an actual temple, or does that represent the temple? I guess they don't have two separate temples? It's really weird. I'm going to keep zooming out to see. See if it's something really big. Or maybe it's underneath. I'll go underneath in a second, too, just to double check. But, see, we would see it by now, right? I don't see anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. All right, I don't see anything. I'm going to go underneath the map. So I'll see you there in a... All right, I'm back. And there's nothing underneath it either. It's really weird. I was expecting at least it to be put underneath. I wonder where the hell that is then. I'm definitely going to play now to figure it out. Maybe when you're in there, it despawns that stuff. That'd be efficient if they could do that. Ah, I'm totally confused now. That's really awesome. I love doing this series. You guys always find ways to stump me. I've been doing this for seven freaking years. And you know, there's always something in these maps to make me go like, what the hell? How did that get there? All right. So I'm going to go. Oh, you know what I want to try and do before I go? Uh, eight. Where am I? Oh, my. Where did that put me? Oh, it just put me here. What? Oh, that's so weird. All right. Put me right in there, but I don't show up. So I'm going to go play the shit out of uh, Dead Ups, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I'm going to try and show you neat things like teleporters and stuff. That's what a teleporter looks like. Just kind of spawns out of the ground on you. There you go. <laughs> Nothing special there. I'll be in and out. I think the Cosmic Silverback's going to show up. Yes, 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 yes. Here he is. He'll steal your gold. Where are you going to go? Where is he going? Let's see. Oh, he just disappears. Lame. We'll get him soon. All right, here's our first prison break round or challenge round we're actually going to take a look at our zombies and they just kind of look like our russian guys oh is that what's his name is that our big russian friend from the campaign oh my goodness oh i want that jewel it is sergey right it was sergey oh my god it's zombie sergey's i didn't even notice that before the more you know I don't really know which one's the best one to get either, by the way, for when the fates decide. It's normally something like, uh, I heard friendship was the best because he helps you out. But then the stopping power of the death machine is really good. And then fast feet allows you to run and outrun everything. So I honestly have no idea anymore <laughs> in Dead Ops what's the best. You can only have a max of nine lives. 
can only have maxes of nine on everything for some reason. I don't know why character. That was a good idea. I don't agree with that at all. I think you should have been able to go up to 99 like everything else in gaming but eh, it is what it is so i'll see you in the next cool thing all right we got another challenge room here and i'll show you what it looks like so we have our nova crawlers that look just like normal so there they are and it looks like we're in the same room are we not who i want that uh was it eight Maybe, uh, there we go. these guys are a bitch to kill by the by but let me go check what room we're in right now. Because that was one of the big questions I have. And yeah, we're in the... We're in here. So they just despawn... They just despawn the stuff in there. All right. Really interesting. Okay. So I'll be back when we get to the the fates thing. Oh, look at them all in there. When we get to the uh, choose your fate type deal. So I'll be there in a second. Son of a bitch, silverback, son of a bitch! You're stealing my shit. All right, we're gonna go to the room of fates. Now I can't daddle too long in here, cause then they get mad at me. All right, so let's do eight. So we have all of our rocks here. Shino Numa rocks actually show up. I don't really know. Is whatever the arrows show up determine the order in which what you get? We're still in the same place, so let's go pick something. So I don't get super pissed off with myself what is this one yay gift of firepower good on me give me other gifts your destiny has been decided but all it is just you know new rocks get put there and then you get it a bonus maybe that'd be cool to see if there's anything more like that in the future so next challenge round you will see me welcome back to our challenge round and we're gonna have a look at the dumbass cows that run by the stampede round where are they where are they coming? There they are. And if you kill them, they actually blow up and give you diamonds. Let me show you. Yep. So then you can actually get stuff. Oh, no, that's the gold one. If you blow up the gold one. The one that's shining. But look at it. They're just oxens. That's all they are. Running on by. <laughs> and they actually kill the zombies as well. Hey, some monkey bones right there. But yeah, there you go. Ray gun. Looks gigantic, right? All right, nothing too special here, really. So, I'll see you in the next one. All right, welcome back. We have Downpour, and you'll actually get to see our zombies. Look at how badass these things look. What if we actually had these? Oh, my God, the chicken is a chicken. What? Oh, my God, it didn't... it's an actual chicken. I didn't know that. I know we always refer to it as chickens, but I could never tell it looked like a chicken. Wow. But these are our zombies. There's actually concept art inside that computer in the Dead Ops... Or in the Black Ops uh, starting area, screen selection stuff. But there you go. That's what they look like. They have their wrenches and then they sprint after you. So, there you go, guys. If you're ever curious about the big idiots here, this is what they look like. This is how they sprint. This is what... We've had multiple types of new zombies in zombies. We just experienced them in Dead Ops Arcade, which wasn't the best setting. So, anyway, I'll see you at the next challenge room. Welcome back again. We have our next challenge round. Oh, and this is just the... They come down, right? These things explode by them, or there's flaming barrels now that can hurt us. Is there anything else special about this round? I'm pretty sure all the other things are still the same. Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. That Wow, is that a rooster? It might be a rooster. Maybe we've been doing it wrong this entire time. But yeah, there's that challenge round, in case you guys were curious. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just move. Okay. See you in the next one. All right, I'm back. Holy shit, is this boring as fuck? Oh my god. I remember why we don't play Dead Ops Arcade. So this is the next one. So we got ghillie suits. We have giant ass ghillie suit people that explode. And I'm I'm smart enough to have accidentally got big ones too. Well, is this gonna go away? Wait, I gotta get this to go away. We're not gonna get a good look at them. Oh good, it's gone now. Uh, okay, here we go. So, let's get a decent look at these ghillie suit people if we can. But we just got faceless zombies. Oh, yeah, they are faceless. Look at that. Faceless guys in ghillie suits. Where's the really big guy? Is there a really big one around here? Did I kill anybody there? Oh, I did. Sweet, I killed them all there. Uh, eight. Give me all that shit. Give me, give me, give me. I was hoping to get a big guy. 
do the big guys have faces? It looks like they do, and these guys explode. The big guys explode. The other ones don't really have anything, huh? All right, well, there you go. There's this challenge round. Look at those dudes. Look how big they are. They explode instantly, the big ones. Then you got your Sergey, and yeah. It's, it's interesting. I'll give you that. It's interesting. Oh, no. There we go. So I'm going to go continue. This really is horribly boring, in case you guys are wondering. Dead Ops Arcade. I remember why people don't like Dead Ops Arcade. It is, it is really boring as fuck. <clears throat> so I'll see you soon. Oh, challenge room. Who quiet wolf? Oh, boy. That's so funny because it's a dog's round. There we go. We got our dogs. Is this the coconut? It looks like a sphere. That's all that really looks like. So here's our dogs. They look identical to normal dogs. This is where I died. I'm pretty sure this is the round in which I can no longer survive in my legitimate playthroughs. I'm so bored, I don't give a fuck. I am so done with Dead Ops right now. But for you guys, I am I'm pulling through. We're going to see the monkey. We're going to beat the monkey, the Cosmic Silverback. And then we're going to move on with our lives. So I'm just going to get through this. All right, I'll see you soon. <laughs> so I think I might finally be in the last place. So welcome back. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! We are on the last map here, and you can see, like, look at the nonsense this is. It's at six thousand kills. It takes you about six thousand kills to get to the last fucking part of these maps. I'm just so blown away by how long and overdone Dead Ops is. Holy crap! I don't know. Playing one thing of Dead Ops is making me reconsider Transit as the worst map. Maybe Dead Ops really is the worst map because, my God, this, it doesn't get fun. Like, there's no balance in this game. There's, the zombies are ridiculously hard. They're fast. They keep killing you. What Talixian did by getting to around, like, 80-something on this by doing this twice, like, I don't, I don't know what he was doing with his life. I, I can't imagine his strategy of running him into, like, all this stuff and trying to kill him. It just boggles my mind. We're going to be here for, like, the next five minutes. Like, rounds take five minutes and it's just like oh what fun is that i just i don't uh, all right well we got an unbelievable amount of nonsense here and i'll be back to you when the cosmic silverback comes or something like oh thank goodness finally rad austin has gotten to round 40 and the silverback should be the next round here we go What do we got? It didn't even come up with around 40 or anything. What's going on? Now I'm confused. I've, I've never done this before, to be honest with you. I've just seen videos. So let me readjust myself here. Does it go like halfway through the round? And yes, we're no clipping and cheating. We know this. This is, this is nothing new. Goodbye. What's happening? I didn't get any rounds. Don't tell me I gotta go another round. I'm so done with playing this game. I started using all my crap. I just want it to be over at this point. There's another nuke. Give me a nuke. Whatever. Look at how many points. I have 10 million points. At what point do you say, yeah, it's ridiculous. 7,000 kills. Oh, my lord. Am I just hanging out on the electric fence? I, that might be the best thing to do, you know? Put a little Jurassic Park there. Hide in the electric fences. Ay, ay, ay. Where's my silverback? I've earned this, goddammit. I sat through 39 rounds of nonsense. Even cheating this is horrid. Ay, ay, ay. Mortal Kombat. Bonus round. Or boss round the cosmic silverback. Whoa. Hey, you just spawned. There we go. Let us look at the silverback. Hey, finally got a good look. Oh, shit. He just jetpacked up. Look at this. So he's got this CCP on his on the back of him. Oh, my God. This guy's going crazy. So this is worth it, guys. This Okay, I feel much better now that I got this silver back. His head's all messed up, too. It's really neat. All right. Let me, uh, let's get into it. It's so tough. The other zombies run so much faster. Maybe I'll slow it down for you guys or something. Look at him. Ah, it's just super cool. I really wish they put him in more stuff. I wish the Cosmic Silverback was more involved. Where is he? 
I'll see him in a second, I'm sure. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Dogs. All right, whatever. Uh, let's go. Oh, he's dead. I killed him. Fuck. I didn't even mean to. All right. He wasn't that bad. Jesus. It wasn't even close to as bad as most of it's been. Silverback's dead. And then I just restarts after this. Yeah, good old fuck you. Yeah, that nine live thing is so obnoxious. There is no more. It's over. It's miserable. Give me all the money so I can go be miserable. So there you go, guys. I hope you did enjoy this Let's Explore. Because victory! Cosmic Silverback defeated! Or was he? What? <laughs> and so you start over. Uh, in case you guys never knew how Dead Ops ended. That's it right there. I don't think many YouTubers covered it because Dead Ops is hard as shit to, to beat. Because look at that. I needed 7,000, about 7,400 kills to get to the end of that game. And so you keep going. I'm going to go to the end of this one just so I can show you guys. Like, look at it. All the zombies from previously continue to spawn. I can't believe he went through it twice. Oh, my God. How miserable is that that he went 80 rounds? Okay. Great. As soon as I say I'm going to cut, to the end. There we go. Oh my god, round 41 complete. Whoa. That was 500 something zombies that round. Ish. No, yeah, it was definitely at least 500. It's a little more than 500. Alright, that's it. Dead Ops Arcade's over. I'm gonna go take a shower or something. I feel so dirty after playing this mode. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will have more. Let's uh, explore. Bye, guys. What? You're still here? You must like me or love this video on too long. You had your chance to click away. On screen, you can watch more of my videos. Do you like deep thoughts? Click on the discussion videos. Do you like custom zombies? Click on the custom zombie videos. Yeah! What? Let's play Stories and Funny Shirt. Click on the videos to take you to Happy Land.